imagine the scene. Location, the mediation room. The players were ready. The director was here. But alas, there would be no play here today. There would be no mediation going ahead because of this one crucial missing element. Hi, I'm Andrea Doyle, Workplace Mediator and Conflict Manager. And in this session, I'm going to review what happens when everybody is set for the mediation, but there's one key element missing. So let's go back. The scene is set. So I've arrived early. I've set up the room, the tables, the chairs, the pens, the paper and the water, waiting for everybody. Next thing, the participants arrive together. Another tick. We're on a, off to a good start. I, as the mediator, am ready and poised but there's one issue missing. Before we start the mediation, I needed to speak alone with Julia. Now, in yesterday's discovery session, Julia identified that she had been presented, that she had presented the workplace with a medical certificate, but she would be able to attend the workplace for a workplace mediation, and that's not unusual. However, at the end of yesterday's discovery, Julia presented me with another medical certificate, but it was for this week, and it said that she was unfit for duty. So after the discovery had happened, I met with the HR manager and confirmed, and confirmed the arrival of the new certificate. Now this was of concern to the HR manager, and rightly so, because the medical certificate that identified that Julia could be in the workplace for mediation ran out last week. This one said she was unfit for work duties. There was nothing on there about a workplace mediation. And therefore, if an employee presents a medical certificate, then they are unable to be in the workplace. So when I had a conversation with Julia that morning, I explained to her what had happened, that her previous medical certificate had run out and she needed another one stating she was able to attend for the purpose of mediation. Once Julia was aware of the situation, then she contacted her physicians and was organising a medical certificate. While waiting for the medical certificate to come through, Julia and Charlie went downstairs and had a coffee and, about 45 minutes later, reappeared. At this stage, Julia and Charlie said they didn't need mediation because they had actually discussed the issue that was of concern. I did some reality testing with both of them to ensure that they were happy with what, was, what they had agreed upon, which they were in agreement with, and as a result of that, well, there was no mediation. So although the room was set, the players were here and the director was in place, the mediation could not commence because a sick leave certificate did not provide Julia the opportunity to be in the workplace. But what, it did, what did happen that day was what is recommended any time there's conflict, that the two people who are directly involved get together to have a chat. It's as simple as that. So, if you've got employees in your workplace who are in conflict, it's important that they have a conversation with each other. If they can't have it on their own, then that's when you call in a workplace mediator or a conflict manager. And the other key element is, if an employee turns up for a mediation and they have a sick leave certificate that says they cannot be in the workplace, you cannot start the mediation until you have received clearance from their medical physician. I hope these tips have helped you today. I'm Andrea Doyle, Workplace Mediator Conflict Manager. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.